When I come home each night to dine, the housemaid lets me in. She has a nature saturnine and wears a dreadful grin. I say to her, Suzette, my girl, is madam in her room. She pauses to arrange a curl and watch my growing gloom. For housemaid's view is fiendish glee, a husband's secret woe. Mine always rubs it in to me. Is madam in? Who oh, dear no. Here's your house with welcome on the mat. Here's the door, the parrot and the cat. There's the grandpa's clock in the corner of the hall and the parquet floor to catch you when you fall. There's a bill on the table by the door. There's the cook. The soup is on the floor. All the sights and sounds of a happy married life. But not your wife. No, not your wife. Everything's at home except your wife. When I glide home at 1 or 2 a.m. or sometimes 4, my latch key as a key will do decline to fit the door. And as I scratch a nervous match, a window opes on high. And through the lurid light, I catch the housemaid's evil eye. You hope she chirps while all me creeps, cold chills that turn me faint. You hope she chirps your wife to sleep. Let me tell you, she ain't. Listen well. You hear a muffled snore. It isn't hers. It's the man that lives next door. And the sly trombone which is waking up the street is the tall stout cop sleeping sweetly on his beat. Hark again. That's the lady all the way. Bend the ears. You'll hear the snorers play all the ragtime tunes that have made a pest of life, but not your wife. No, not your wife. Everyone's asleep except your wife.